NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 specifications leak, 90 watt card with new Ampere GPU variant. It could be the cheapest card in NVIDIA's ray tracing capable RTX 3000 series of graphics cards lineup. NVIDIA has no plans of slowing down with its RTX 3000 series of graphics cards, despite the stock issues. The GPU giant launched the RTX 3070, 3080, and 3090 recently. Before starting with this make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will never miss our upcoming videos with lots of new products and benchmark comparison. Start with the video. We have since then heard about the mobile versions of these GPUs being in the works. Now, we have some word on an upcoming lower-end variant in the RTX 3000 series, which is likely to be the entry point for this range of graphics cards. The specifications of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 have leaked, and it looks like a solid new addition to the RTX 3000 line. The specifications for the RTX 3050 come courtesy of Kopite 7 Kimi, known for being a reliable source on PC hardware leaks. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 specifications It looks like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 will come with a new SKU of the Ampere GPU, named the GA107-300. Apparently, it will come with 2,304 CUDA cores. The power consumption is at 90W according to this leak, which needs an extra 6-pin power connector. In terms of memory, it's likely that this card will come with 4 GB of memory. The 50 series is usually the balance of price and performance. However, this could end up being the lowest-end RTX 3000 card this time around. For one, for the RTX 2000 series, we got to see 2060 being the lowest end card. We would have thought that NVIDIA was planning on doing the same this year, but it could choose to go a step lower to bring in a more pocket-friendly card that can do ray tracing. The RTX 2060 had a price tag that started around US$310. On the other hand, the GTX 1050 was priced starting US$110. It's safe to assume that NVIDIA will price the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 between USD 230 to 270, making it a pretty decent entry-level ray tracing gaming experience. More evidence has turned up of NVIDIA's purported RTX 3080 Ti, which has been much rumored of late, and an RTX 3050, along with more supposed graphics cards which could be close to release. This comes courtesy of the AIDA64 benchmarking tool, which has been the source of a good number of graphics cards leaks in the past, with this latest one, and it's a biggie, being surfaced by Kamachi underscore Ensaka on Twitter. As highlighted above, the latest beta release of AIDA64 contains new GPU info for the RTX 3080 Ti, the vanilla RTX 3060, which is certainly expected to follow the recently released RTX 3060 Ti and TH. ERTX 3050 the low-end Ampere card which has also been the subject of previous leaks. The 3080 Ti will be built on NVIDIA's GA102 chip, as speculation has previously contended, with the RTX 3060 using the GA106, and the RTX 3050 running with the GA107. NVIDIA's RTX 3080 Ti recently popped up in a new driver release from HP which indicates that it could appear soon, and indeed we've heard previous buzz on the grapevine that this GPU could launch in January 2021. Complete with a hefty helping of 20GB of VRAM. Its appearance in AIDA64 now is another heavy hint that it could be just around the corner. Affordable Ampere? The RTX 3050 is the other main talking point here when it comes to the desktop, and as previous speculation held. It'll apparently be built around the GA107, a step down from the GA106 which will supposedly power the RTX 3060 as per this leak. Though the RTX 3050 Ti might use the GA106 as well, going by a previous rumor but that potential card is notable by its absence here. The theory is that NVIDIA is going all RTX with Ampere, so in other words, not having any GTX models which don't support hardware accelerated ray tracing. The RTX 3050 will purportedly run with 2,304 CUDA cores, compared to 3,840 CUDA cores for the RTX 3060, according to past rumors. This hefty leak also contained details of what could be NVIDIA's laptop graphics cards for the RTX 3000 generation. 
apparently these are the RTX 3070 and RTX 3060 mobile, built on the GA104M and GA106M GPUs respectively, with the M theoretically standing for mobile, and possibly indicating that these will be different to the desktop cards, in other words, they will have a lesser core spec. That's just speculation, though, and keep plenty of salt handy for that one, and this entire leak, for that matter. It's believed that NVIDIA will launch these mobile chips in January. So next month could be pretty busy for the company in terms of product releases, although serious stock problems still persist, although that didn't stop the recent launch of the RTX 3060 Ti, and very limited availability of an NVIDIA GPU upon release, once again. We can expect to see the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 sometime in the first half of 2021. Stay tuned to us for more news on the same. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel.